Hey guys, Buddy from Bali, happy weekend. I want to make a quick, short video to try and just drive home a really important point for you guys. And we're going to keep this really quick and short because I value your time, all right? So, I've got this scanner over here. <laughs> I've got this great scanner. Uh, it helps me filter out of the 9,000 stocks, over 9,000 stocks that we could be trading options on, that we could be looking at to buy into. And it's reduced it down to basically about 20 this weekend, all right? Now, just because you have this great scanner doesn't mean that you can go out and just pick any of these. You still have to do the research, okay? And I wanna point out that you can create these really tight filters, either mentally or on paper, whatever you wanna do, okay? So that you can eliminate very quickly companies that you shouldn't waste time doing research because it doesn't matter what the story is, if you're using the wheel strategy, I recommend using it in a conservative, safe way. Now, I do go after growth stocks because I have a fundamental belief that, you know what, if you do a blue chip stock and it dips, guess what? That's its new trading price. It's going to take a long time or a good reason for it to come back up. It's not going to just dip by itself. So you don't get a lot of volatility on blue chips. And if it ever goes down, it needs a catalyst to come back up. Okay. Whereas growth stocks, they're naturally volatile. And if they come down, they've got multiple catalysts coming up that are going to drive them up or it's just going to rotate in the sector it's just part of being a volatile stock so that's why i like growth stocks and you'll, you'll see me sometimes trade stocks that have negative income that are in new sectors growing sectors etc they're not blue chip companies but that doesn't mean that i just go out do a scan and then just throw anything on the board okay so let's take a look at this it came through on our scanner let's see if i can find it here so here's rail Currently trading at about $16. You can sell a $5 put for 7% return in 41 days. That's a 60% APR, and you'll have a cost basis distance, in other words, break-even distance, downside protection of about 24.5%, yet we're still not gonna do this. Why? Well, if you come in, you can see their story. They're a freight car manufacturing company. They sell parts, they lease freight cars, yada, yada, okay? But look at their income statement and look at their balance sheet. If you look at the balance sheet, you'll see total assets is 158 million. Total liabilities is 165 million. So they're underwater. They're underwater. They're in debt more than they have in assets. That's not good. That's very, very bad. Second thing we look at, well, maybe that would be okay if they were super profitable. You come here and you look at the quarterly income statement, negative 12, negative 40, negative 14, negative 38 million per quarter. Well, how much cash on hand do they have? Because ideally, right? In a perfect scenario, I want a company that has more than eight quarters of cash on hand. They've got 31 million. They're literally one quarter away from poss possibly going bankrupt and insolvent completely. And they don't have the debt ratio to go out and raise cash. So what is this company gonna do? It's either gonna sell out, <laughs> it's gonna get taken over or sold out, or merge with somebody else, which could be actually a good thing, but that's a very dangerous, risky scenario for you as a shareholder, because it's probably gonna go less than its current trading price, or anyway, I don't wanna make too many predictions. But second thing, they, they can't raise capital with debt, so how are they gonna raise capital? They're gonna issue shares, they're gonna dilute shares, and they're already negative, so this share dilution is gonna be the negative catalyst, it's gonna be a bad reason. Now, if a company goes out and they issue new shares because they're gonna move into a new market or they're gonna build a new factory, that's gonna might cause a dip and it's gonna cause the company to go back up again because they're growing. They're spending the money in a way that makes them more money. Whereas this company is gonna be forced to issue shares just to stay afloat, not to go out and do something amazing. So don't do this. Don't touch this company. This is a bad company to touch. And I don't have to spend an hour, two hours, five hours researching the story and the CEO and all this other stuff about this company you come, you create some hard, fast rules for yourself. What do you do? I don't do energy, okay? Every time an energy thing comes on my scanner, boom, it's done. I skip it. I come here, I see an income statement. They got less than one quarter and they are got higher than 70% liabilities. Boom, we're done. It's five minutes instead of five hours researching this company. It's going to save you a ton of time. You need these hard, fast filters so that you don't spend too much time. There's over, again, 9,000 stocks you can pick from. When you hit these red flags, too many of them, especially, boom, you're done. You move on to the next one, you save yourself time to go do the research so that you have hours and hours and hours to spend researching another stock. Hey, that gets me to our point. Maybe you don't have hours and hours and hours and you wish somebody else to do it for you. Go check out 
our affiliate, theoptionsoracle.com. They spend the hours and hours doing the research, finding the right companies, the right ROI, the right safety. They've got a great winning track record. Okay, you can see that here. Go proof to work, proof it works. Look at their spreadsheets and everything. And what's really great is they got a 30 day free trial. After that, it's $97 a month. With one good free trade in their free trial, you're gonna pay for the membership. So go check them out. And hey, here's the spreadsheet. I went, the scan, sorry. Here's the scan. I put it in a spreadsheet for you guys. All you have to do to get this spreadsheet is go to the description box below and click the link. Hope this helps you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.